Hey guys, Otto here. I'm here to talk about this piece of gear the guys at Exonic Audio just sent me to review. And I thought it was a very unique controller with very cool features. So I'll just show you what this device can do. I was just playing over a backing track and I was using this unit to start and stop the recording with my feet while I was playing. This is a Bluetooth MIDI controller and it's called Airstep Lite and it sends MIDI messages and HID messages to mobile phones, tablets and computers. You can do a lot of stuff with it. You can control anything that you want with it. Anything you can control with a keyboard, you can control with this. Anything that can be controlled via MIDI can be controlled with this. You get 5 foot switches that can send up to 8 messages at once. You can assign any keyboard command to one of these switches, which means you can control your DAW, you can control any model and software. YouTube videos, camera switching, you can edit videos, start your recording, stop your recording, save, undo, anything that you can imagine. You can save 5 different presets in the unit, and you have a function button on the back for switching presets. It's got a battery and a 9 volt power supply. It comes with an app for your phone or tablet that you can use to edit presets via Bluetooth. You can program these switches to be presets on your favorite modeling software. This button could be to start and stop your recording. This one to undo. This one could be to switch things on your camera. Anything that you can think of. You can have up to 8 different messages per switch depending on whether you long press or short press on a button, whether you press or release, momentary or latching. Here we have the presets 1 through 5. When you select one of these, you have your 5 switches here. Click on one of these and then you can program what you want each foot switch to do. If you don't want to do any of this programming, there's a full list of pre-made presets for controlling the most popular software that you can use right away. And they're adding a cloud functionality so that you can share presets with other users. Now I'm going to show you a couple of ways I'm using the Airstep Light. Here I'm using the Airstep Lite to turn the pages of the music score, freeing up your hands so that you don't have to worry about reaching out to turn pages in the middle of a performance. You can use it on YouTube videos for learning, without ever having to take your hands off the guitar. So we have 75. 50, 25, and if you long press, you can increase your speed. You can go back a few seconds, or you can go forward. You can play or pause, and you can loop sections. So you first press the loop switch, then press play to start the loop, then press the loop switch again when you want your loop to finish, and if you want to clear your loop, press the loop switch again. Here I'm using the airstep light with my best legs up. I have it set up so that if I press the first switch, you play or pause. The third switch plays in slower increments. The second switch plays in faster increments. With the fourth switch, I go back one note at a time. And with the fifth switch, I move forward one note at a time. Here I'm using the airstep for transcribe, and I use Guitar Pro with the keyboard. I use the first switch to play, the second switch to pause, the third switch to go to the left beat, and if I long press, I can insert a beat marking on the previous beat. 
the fourth switch to go to the right, and the fifth switch to undo. This way I don't have to keep going back and forth between the keyboard and the mouse. I can just use the keyboard for Guitar Pro and the air step for Transcribe. Here I have the air step set up to bring up a couple of presets on the archetype Cory Wong and activate or deactivate a couple of stomp pedals. Actually, using a plugin manager so that I can bring up an entire new rig with a click of a switch. Here I have Reaper set up to start recording with the second switch. I'm doing with the first switch. Play and pause with the third switch. Repeat with the fourth switch and go back to the beginning with the fifth switch. I think this controller is really unique and worth the $179 price tag. It's not just another MIDI controller. The foot switches are really solid, the Bluetooth response is fast, the battery lasts a long time, the app is being updated regularly. You can see that I'm already using it in a lot of different settings and I've only scratched the surface of what it can do. So you can go to Exonic's website where you can buy it. I've included the link in the description. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. And if you'd like to see more of this content, subscribe and hit the notifications bell. Thanks for watching.